going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that hot girl summer is you living a soft girl carefree life. No, it can lead to heartbreak, heartache, baby daddies, baggage, and STDs. That's the reality of a hot girl summer. Now you absolutely have the right to treat your body like community property if you want to, but just don't let nobody lie to you about what that actually means. If you haven't heard already, Meg Thee Stallion recently announced that she's going to be doing the Hot Girl Summer Tour. And listen, I have nothing against Meg Thee Stallion, right? She's just an artist making money, like most of them, trying to traffic after themes and topics that are really popular. But I don't like the lifestyle that's being promoted and I don't like the lifestyle that her brand promotes. And, you know, she's actually the artist that turned the whole idea Hot Girl Summer. On the surface, it it claims to be about a woman just living a carefree life and doing her and putting her her own happiness first coach me coach like what's the, what are the rules of hot girl summer so you just have to be the life of the party you have to be kind you have to be confident and you have to like to drive a boat the one thing that we can all do to have a hot girl summer the one thing because i can only do like one i think um you just gotta love yourself and in theory, that doesn't sound too bad, but when you actually go down to what that really means, when you actually understand how a hot girl summer is defined, it's a completely destructive life. But we're sitting here creating whole themes, creating whole movements, now we're doing concerts based upon a lifestyle that is continuing to promote destruction among women. And I'm supposed to sit here and lie and act like this ain't no big deal? No. For those of you who don't believe me, let's just check out some of the lyrics from the song Hot Girl Summer created by Meg Thee Stallion, right? The entirety of the song is just a girl who's basically treating her body like community property, but acting like this is fun and carefree. And, and for, for some reason, a woman finding herself is always associated with her treating her body like a trash can. For some reason, a woman finding herself is always associated with her going in and out of somebody else's bed. Why does a woman finding herself always associated with her sexually exploiting her own body and sexually exploiting the men around her? Y'all just, y'all notice that? Like, it's not like women are finding themselves in the monastery, right? <laughs> or like going on these long seasons of abstinence or celibacy and not getting in, in relationships at all and focusing on themselves, focusing on God, learning how to take care of their body, learning how to practice sexual discipline. No, it's usually giving them a reason to not have any sexual discipline to promote exploiting men, but then say that that's freedom. And I'm like, is, is, am I the only one that's saying this is weird? Like li literally even one of the verses here talks about how she exploits, how she doesn't get care about men. Literally like, I don't give an F about a ninja, right? And again, I'm I'm really, I'm really, you know, giving y'all the PG version, but just you're, you're getting a sense of the mentality here. Y'all see why I don't like Hot Girl Summer? I don't like what this lifestyle is about. It's not that I'm against artist artistry, it's not that I'm against music, and it's not that I'm against Meg Thee Stallion in particular. I just don't like this lifestyle. I think it's destructive. And for those of you guys who think that this is just art, this is just them expressing themselves, this is just a masterpiece, it's not that serious, granted. Cannot undermine the power and the influence that these celebrities have to shape the values and the mindsets of young impressionable women in particular. Because if these things weren't making an impact, you wouldn't every 15 seconds see femininity channels focused on what these people are wearing, who they're dating, where they're going on vacation, what they're eating, their diet trips. Like these celebrities are idolized, literally idolized. They're called, called that. And so we can't act like this music is just going in one ear out the other. These messages, these, this music is impacting generations. This is the responsibility that these artists have and this is the influence that they have. So I think it's a bit disingenuous to assume that everybody has the maturity to be able to just listen to a song and how horrible it is, see all these themes and be, see all these trends and separate themselves. There are some people who are able to do that, but there's a large majority of people, especially young impressionable women who don't have strong leadership, don't have strong guidance, don't have other people who are instilling morals in them. There's a lot of people who are just completely and totally um, impacted by these trends. And so, you know, it is what it is. There are going to be people, people who support this and who think this is not a big deal or who think this is their right. And it is your right. Like I said, if you want to treat your body like this, if you want to treat your body like community property, have at it. I'm just not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that that's going to lead to good results. It will not. 
remind you that Meg the Stallion, right, just got out of a pretty serious, drastic, or pretty serious, complicated relationship, right? And again, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that she deserved that. And look, maybe there are people, there are probably women out there who resonate with having toxic relationships, having DV. There are probably women who follow her because she is relatable. Totally fine. Um, but I'm just here to tell you that hot girl summer doesn't necessarily lead to happy results. Ultimately, at the end of the day, I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care how many different trends are going out there. You are going to be the happiest when you are operating according to how God himself created you. There are certain boundaries and there are certain principles that are always established always at work whether or not you're aware of them whether or not society or culture agrees those boundaries and those principles are never changing and so a person can either choose to work with god and understand and figure out what his principles are and learn and figure out what they were actually created for or they can follow the trends of culture which are anti-god which are anti-christ and then experience the result the choice is yours but i'm just here to let you know that that lifestyle is not all this cracked up to be. And if you don't believe me, then try it out. But just don't say that nobody didn't warn you. Anyways, that is what I have. What do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. Also, be sure to check out my other channel where we talk a little bit more about spirituality and really get down as to what it means to actually be a Christ follower and what it means to live counterculturally today, looking for other values to ultimately esteem and affirm you as a woman. So anyways, check the channel out. Thank you so much for listening if you've gotten this far and we'll talk later, okay? Bye.